and welcome to the ECS show. This is the last qualifying match that we have, Dan. The last one. And we have Dignitas and Tricked. Godson actually made it through. After all, they actually yeah. managed to make it through in the top spot. They were tying for points, but on round difference, they were superior to Tricked. Landing Tricked in this very difficult situation up against Dignitas, a very top-level team, and it's going to be certainly a very tough one. But they have a potential five maps to try and make it happen. Are Dignitas the best team in Denmark? Very possibly. Astralis' form is... Well, according to Thorin, I think he would say yes if you looked at his last rankings. I think there is an argument to make. Astralis have been suffering for quite a while. They're still mm. still trying to right the ship. So Dignitas do appear to be having uh, better results lately. So maybe Astralis run the, the slump that Virtus Pro were in, which they have now escaped for the time being. It remains to be seen, I suppose. With Virtus Pro, I, never, I don't, I don't want to call it. I'm not comfortable calling it just yet. But yes, they are doing quite well. Um, very impressive performances recently, which... I always thought it was going to happen at some point, and I'm glad it's finally is delivering because they are such a fun team and of storied individuals. But we are going to start off here on Nuke. This is the choice of Dignitas moving into this best of five. So this could be absolutely perfect for them if they're able to get off to to the start on their home map as you know as they would like to have, and it, it is on the CT side in which they will begin things here against Tricked. Indeed. Now this is a, this is a map where some <coughs> excuse me some players are coming out of the woodwork and saying that they like Nuke. After all the initial complaints, uh, people are liking Nuke at the moment. Might be difficult to understand from a viewer's perspective, though, and also from an observer perspective. So good luck to our observer today. T's charging into the A site. Trades onto both sides. Bombs on the floor, though. And there's a man advantage for the CTs, although just about KGB onto 4 HP. There's a player moving through Radio Room. That's Magic's boy. And Hamden, last man standing, going to get taken down. No bomb plant for Tricked. <coughs> so perhaps we're going to see a force buy in this round. Do they have a force buy plan in mind? That is the question. Money between fourteen to eighteen hundred dollars. Nothing being bought yet from Tricked actually. Apart from there we go. Some late buys. They're not committing fully. Some deagles being picked up looking for the long shots. Let's see what they can achieve. It's always fun. Sometimes you can just lose rounds and there's no one's fault. Sometimes those shots just connect with the deagles, those one shots. Oh, that could have been one of them. Hunda not able to connect that one, but his teammates are actually making their way along the catwalk there. The outside, the newly added catwalk there for the T's to have better access outside, but they are being shut down so far. So it looks pretty good here for Dignitas so overall. They've not lost anyone just yet. And it still seems to be very good. Very nicely done by all of Dignitas just holding outside and just Maeve now with the P250 to try to get some damage done. But this force by otherwise has really fallen on his face. One frag. Okay, that's some damage. He needs to get a bit more damage, though. One more kill would would be something, but can't pull it off. Doing the task well within acceptable losses in this round. They'll be quite happy. So far, so good. Do you have a favorite between these two sides? Absolutely, doing the task. Especially as it's a best of five. Whenever you have a, a team that, even if they are slightly favored, you do expect to see that in a prolonged series. So best of five is really comfortable for the better team. I think it's fair to say that Dignitas are a team who often underachieve. So in this best of five format, we'll see if they can make it over the line here, or if Tricks will continue to surprise people with exceptional performances. Config getting peppered outside from a tech nine. But again, this is uh, there's no armor on these Tricks players, so we can't expect much to be done. Yugi's getting a second the frag, but that's going to be that for uh, this round. So we'll see if the MP9 and uh, the UMP continue. So how are you liking those new sounds? I quite like the new sounds. I think one issue is that perhaps the sounds are too alike. So it might be harder to identify what people are actually firing. Yeah. Um, but it's, uh, I'm, I'm not going to declare a verdict on that just yet because it's still early days when it takes time to adjust and get used to things. But I mean, the AK sounds more like an AK now. The M4 sounds amazing as well. The one I really don't like is the AWP. Yeah, I, I felt like with the AK before, it had a very, very distinctive sound because of the pitch. But either way, we're going to be hearing a lot of those those sounds at the moment as the attempt to take outside is somewhat failing. A couple players taken down on the cross, and not just that, Nico and May very weak as well. So Tricks unable to do much here to get a single frag out of Yugi. But other than that, they haven't really accomplished all that much. And the thing is, once you get down downstairs, you really want to have the numbers alive. You can lose maybe one player, but you still need to have pretty much everybody down there if you want to actually take over that area. Of course, there is some pressure in that area, but 
pressure on the map is not as important on this map for the T's because Dignitas or any CT side will have good rotation times. So it's not as difficult to deal with for the CT side. So you really want to be taking those areas outright. And that is not something that Tricked have managed to do in this round. So Dignitas performing very well on their defense. With the, flu pl with the few players Tricked have at the moment, straight jewels are required. But even Nico's down to 11 HP, so uh, Maeve also heavily tagged. So there are a multitude of problems for Tricked. And now the high health player, Yugi, is going to get taken down as well. So this should be at the end of the round, although that could be an opening to get the bomb down. Again, the fast rotation will come into play. Nico will try and help his teammate. Getting the Molotov down there. But uh, you can see Maeve on the site, surrounded with no support from his teammate. Bomb won't go down. And that will be the end of the round. Ten seconds to, uh, for Nico to try and get some damage in. There's one. Hunter's boy will uh, sort of stop the damage there. It was an expensive round for Dignitas, but again, it's a 4-0. All good in the hood. Mighty difficult for Tricked as well. So Tricked's not really in a position to capitalize on the damage that they did to Dignitas' economy in that round. It's a pretty awesome position for Dignitas too, because everything is going according to plan at the moment. They've not had to... They've already had any problems just playing a basic uh, setup on the CT side. There's no real need for them to think, okay, we've got to take this risk here. We've got to go and try to take lobby away early, like find out, figure out the pace of the uh, the enemy team here. Um, yeah, we just just see. I have to interrupt myself. We just see config there, just sitting on CT spawn. So I'm not sure what's going on there. As the players don't seem to be complaining just yet. We'll have yeah. to see if he's going to be moving at any time soon. I'm surprised they haven't said not live, although there is typing going on. So one would assume because no one's been shot in this round, that's going to be a not go. live. And yes, Cajun be running over his knife will indicate that this is uh, not live. There's an issue over in CT spawn. Anyway, so far so good for Dignitas. Apart yeah. from config and yeah. lagging out somewhat. I expect this round to be reset. Uh, so yeah, the the thing is that's amazing for Dinitas is that uh, well, I mean, Tricked are not in a spot where they've tried all too much at the moment. They haven't really really tested, you know, fast like super fast rounds, super slow rounds. They haven't tested going for that uh, upper push if they have a set piece to throw at it. It's a possibility that they don't necessarily have a very routine and drilled series of plays on this map is a great possibility. It was Dignitas' pick after all, <laughs> and in the best of five format, you only get certain drops to make, and Trick decided to drop Dust 2 against against uh, Dignitas, which is quite interesting that they that they would drop Dust 2 over Nuke. So you would like to think, based on the Dust 2 drop, that that they, they are somewhat, you know, they feel comfortable on Nuke. Because otherwise it's very strange not to remove Nuke, especially against a Danish team like Dignitas. Yeah, some teams have been surprising their opponents with Nuke at the moment. Versus Pro, for an example. Versus Pro, though, have always been a, a good team when it comes to taking on and adapting to new maps. Trainers, an example. Overpass, another one. Cobblestone as well. So uh, they always seem to do well with the new maps. And you, see, you can see they took it to them in the previous round. So still four players on the CT side at the moment. While we have this pause, anything anything else interesting going on? I guess the other thing to add as well is that you have basically a domestic matchup here between two Danish teams. So this is something that will also mean that there's a lot of stuff that we might not know about that happens in all the practice matches that they play together or the, ten the tendencies that they understand between you know, player between player. So that is another reason why we could see the ban of Dust 2 from Trick that they have played against Dignitas in the past and that may be something that at the moment they feel is somewhat unsolvable or that they just have a bit of let's say, you know, just discomfort against specifically Dignitas. So they wanted to allow Nuke to go in there as something maybe a bit fresher other than the uh, the Dust 2 choice. That could be an explanation as to why they did remove Dust 2. But one thing we have to remember ah. is that Dust 2 is classically the one of the upset maps where, you know, everybody can play Dust 2. Everybody can have that good start and really roll with it and put your other, the other team that might be better than you in a really awful spot. So, again... There has to be, you know, a pretty strong reason why they didn't didn't go for that one. So, uh, based on that, I definitely don't have too much concern just yet for Trix. There's a lot of stuff that they can still go for, that they can still try, despite the strength we've seen from Dignitas in their basic holds thus far. Back into the map. Back into the match. 
Yes. Scroll. Scroll with your mouse. All the scrolling. Let it be done. Right. So we see Deagles on the uh, T side, but not much else. Yugi's got armor. So again, uh, a round where we can't expect much to happen from tricks. Again, just a reminder that we still have coaches on the server. Uh, there's been uh, <coughs> no knee-jerk reaction in that regard. It's interesting on the weekend as well. Uh, a lot of people think that the the new pauses are a bit too disruptive. HP's only got USP for some reason. No idea why. Config in KGP now, vulnerable damage-wise, but uh, again, there's not much we can expect here. Nico alone now with the bomb, maybe waiting for somebody to overextend. Yeah, it seems, the, it seems the, the, the new pause style and use of the coaches is quite disruptive to the flow of the game. I can really see that actually from a player's perspective, especially in Counter-Strike. Because Counter-Strike, you're, you're always trying to maintain a, this level of focus. And it, that's very tiring. And having to keep resetting between like this subconscious focus versus like this sitting back and just changing those mind states, that is, that is really annoying as a player. I can definitely assure you. Right then, let's see what's going on in this round. Finally, Trick back on the bike. Big, strong lead for Dingtas so far. Yugi looking, but uh, off angles, passive angles being held by Dignitas at the moment on the outside. Cajun B is in the position outside of the warehouse. I think we saw Cold playing from here yesterday over in New York. Player in secret for the CTs as well. More smokes being deployed. Could that be a wall? I'm not sure. And indeed, it might be. Config's going to get taken down towards secret, so now the T's will move undetected. Finally able to actually get down to Secret without losing a player, instead actually taking down a Dignitas man instead. So this is a great start, and this is something we haven't seen just yet from Trick. So how does the next phase of the attack work out for them? We're about to find out now as they start to make their way into that control room. And Dignitas have to feel this presence. They have to start having better positions to deal with this. You can see there's one guy in the room on the bomb site, And that is Magisk. Right there. This is a great position. Can often be a one and done, but he's able to pick up one frag, gets re-engagements. A lot of focus on him. He's not able to survive, though. Asian B missing his shot. Needed to hit that one. It's going to get much more difficult from this point forward. Another miss, another opportunity gone for Cajun B, but he's going to keep getting opportunities. MSL is providing good distraction, and Cajun B will keep himself alive. Just Yugi left now. Where does he look? This is going to be very difficult for him to pull this one out of the bag. That is very gutting for Tricked. Looked like everything was going their way. 6 0 for Dignitas. So far, so good for one of the two Danish sides. Starting to build some serious cash as well. Some banks, some coins, some dollars, some dollar. Some moolah, some green. Tricked. Opting for the force buy. You get down to the UMP. Reasonable amount of grenades as well. They are at maximum loss bonus now. So that will help them get uh, more buys even if they continue to loot. Fast play towards the outside. That nade's not going to achieve much, unfortunately, for Config. And again, he's going to have to try to move to a passive position. No eyes over towards Garage or Garage. Garage. You're a Garage man, Dan. Uh, I think I say, yeah, I say Garage, I think, yeah. Well, Dick and are flying in with tons of kills, and Yugi is not having much trouble, not having much success, rather. May planting for main. But is that all they can get done here, Tricks? Now it's Yugi alone with 6 HP. And he's going to get taken down immediately. Yeah, another... I mean, okay. <laughs> it's a slow improvement. They got the bomb down this time. Uh, which is definitely an improvement. But they already have that max loss bonus. The bomb is very nice. It's going to give them that $4,200. Instead of just the 3400 which is just the maximum loss bonus. So that 4200 it makes all the difference. It means you can actually have nades with your purchase of the AKs. Which is brilliant. So... Back to the drawing board, really, here for Tricked as they try to work out what to do. I like that Yugi's gone for a Krieg there. Um, now, it was quite promising that they were able to get that, uh, that initial advantageous situation on the outside. And that's something that's going to have to... They're going to have to try to rinse and repeat a little bit. So far, that's been their most successful opener to a round. And it is a very common one, of course, on the on the DT side of uh, Nuke. And it does appear that they are going to start throwing those smokes, the wall of smokes, and that is 
the opener that we saw lead them to that one frag advantage early in the round in the, a couple rounds ago. So got Config, they're looking for the angle through the smoke, of course, not going to be able to see too much. I can trick play around these smokes perfectly get, to get the frags. This is a great play. Pop flash straight through. That's a very dead config. Why on earth was he that close to the smoke? Very risky business. I love that Tricked were brave enough to move forwards through it. And now, once again, they got the five versus four, but not for long. Moving down towards Secret of the Bomb. A minute on the clock. Rubino is outnumbered, to say the least. Three versus one situation heading his way. How many frags is this position good for? The head is my favorite at the same time. Ding dong, both people are going to get headshot. Three versus three now. Players moving down towards B. Magic Boy is on the site. But be careful though, he will be exposed to the uh, control room window. And he's attacked to have a look. Spray is not going to work out. Two versus two. Man keeps falling for each person at the same time. Half of ramp's been smoked off now. But uh, it's still the gauntlet run for Tricked. And that splash is not going to hit Cajun B. Doors open. And he can tell his teammate no one's in the site just yet. Just continue to hold his angle. And perhaps MSL can have his back. But he'll have to watch his six as well. KGB misses, uh, well, maybe hits, but doesn't get a fatal connection. Yugi pushing for the smoke. Untimely fashion. MSL should finish things off. Indeed, he will. Another round on the board for Dinosaur. So halfway there on the first half with uh, not a round dropped so far. Yeah, it's kind of sad, isn't it? For Trick. They've gotten so close so many times. So many, I mean, the, the open, um, opening play was really great to punish Config because Config had a lot of confidence thinking, okay, those smokes are down outside. It's really unlikely that they will push through the smokes. And that's one of those mix ups you can go for as the tease. And it was perfect. They punished Config. Okay, there was a trade. Still good for the tease, though. But either way, when it was all, all is said and done, they won't be able to clutch the round now. And it's back to the pistols for one as they did not get the bomb planted. So Dignitas should be very, very well geared up for that 9 0. You know, able to lock things down above the huts. And this seems like a formality this round. Yep. It's another free round for Dignitas. They are really racking up a, str a strong score here. So even if Trick has something ready for us on a CT side, they may get little opportunity to display it if this half continues the way it's been going for the last nine rounds. Again, back on the buy again. They're at maximum loss bonus. But it's to no avail at the moment. Still a big fat zero on the board. Hunden with only one frag so far. Although a lot of his teammates aren't doing much better, so people are going to have to come in and represent. Dignitas going for double orps in this round. Maybe expecting something different from Tricks. We'll see what they can do. That smoke will uh, help Yugi go for a fast play towards T Red should he want to. And he's looking over the smoke. Does he see the barrel from Config? Ooh. He doesn't. I wonder if that would display a question mark on the radar. There's Config blind, but he survives. That's a lucky situation for him. Bomb left in a passive position so far. Dignitas just waiting for Trick to come to them at the moment. It's really weird. Outside is kind of in control of both teams at the moment. There must be a line in the sand somewhere. Let's see which team crosses. <laughs> Stereo orbs coming in. Yeah. Just as you said, it seems to be in control of both teams. KGB is like, well, I've got a, I've got a solution for that. Brings out the AWP for a couple kills. Three in total for Dignitas. So that's Trick shut down outside. So Dignitas really running circles around them at the moment on their CT side. Pop flash in here, bounce off the door. The entry of Nico, but he's not able to get anything done. Maeve with the trade, but at a one versus four still. So not really liking that one. 10-0. Dignitas kicking things off here with an explosive start to the best of five and I suppose it is nuke so one would imagine this is a tactical pause I think we saw a tactical pause in yesterday's semi one of semi-finals at like around six on one of the maps I think the score is three to two or something James this this shouldn't be called a tactical pause this should be called an emotional pause <laughs> because because it's 10 zero and I don't know. <laughs> well, no one's killing anyone, and that, that seems to be one of the, uh, Guys, the issues here. I need an emotional pause. <laughs> I need an emotional pause. <laughs> right then, it's been unpaused. Let's see what tricks have in the bag. Despite maximum loss bonus, they're still going to have some restrictions, continuously losing rounds. Four AKs, the Galil, and a bunch of grenades. Let's see what they have to offer us with these. For all five people moving outside from Tricks, is this going to be a fast play? Config, is he expecting the wall of smoke here? 
Holding angle upper. He should hit him running around. This is a play I like to see. Maybe not with an AWP though. That's a bit, that's a bit tricky, a bit risky. That's a play that needs to happen though with those kind of water smokes, but ideally with an M4. If he, gets, if he has an M4, he maybe kills three people there. It's quite sad, isn't it? The position he was in, not to get a single kill. Oh, Very someone sad. dropped Tricks, that's bad. They had four players with somebody disconnected, so uh, Tricks have a great opportunity to win around here. Only Easter Tag's gone down, and again, Dignitas have lost a player. Wasn't it Config last time? It was Config last time, and now it is... the other guy. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember who the last is. Tricks moving up. Stairs and Cajun Beads ready to wait for them. He's not going to get traded. He could still win this for his team. Nico's got 10 HP here. And Rubino's position is unknown. The ladder is open. He gets off it. Nice. Two man spray up. Oh my goodness. Ooh. He's got 7 HP. Next hit wins. Hunden is looking everywhere. But he, know, he knows KGB was in heaven. Doesn't mean he is in heaven, however. They've both got Molotov. <laughs> <laughs> Cajun well. B falls off the ladder. Up he goes. Oh no, I'm just looking. This sp the spray there from uh, who was it coming out? Was it Rubino? Yeah, it was awful. It's really off. Yeah, that should have been an easy two K there for him. Um, but yeah, just just rushing, maybe just rushing his shots a little bit. Um, either way, it's a much needed in for Tricked, and we have the last back on the server here for Dinatas. They have, of course, enormous stores of cash. Their banks are more filled than an oligarch. Now, what do tricks go to? I mean, had Dimtas not dropped a player, they very likely do not win that last round, so it's almost effectively the 11-0. Maeve, they're looking to go in there with the smokes down. Drop from Rubino, reaction from Dimtas, from starting to rotate. Config though, going for the push outside, locking down this by himself, pulls out the USP now. Where is his support? I think the smokes are down. In fact, his support's been shot in the face. Config, he's still alive somehow, still doing damage. Is he still getting frags? Has to pull out the grenade! <laughs> Ridiculous! Just couldn't get the fatal frag there. Three versus <laughs> three. Bombs down. Maybe is lurking around, trying to find an opening for his team while they bide their time. They know that surely people are holding angles on them. MSL goes down. KGB walking into the angle, and he will get the frag onto Jugi, who is now moving away, and he's the last man standing. No, it's Hunden, sorry, with the bomb. Misread. One versus two. Two versus none. Dignitas has back to winning ways. Trix's economy has been reset, and uh, there's a very, very reasonable chance, Dan, for a 14 one half. Oh, yeah. I love the aggression from Config there, just playing very proactively. Uh, it's kind of crazy it worked out so well. Now, Trix, man, is a pretty pretty rough spot to be in. They're probably already thinking, we just want to get this map kind of over with as soon as possible. Of course, they're going to try to win, but you might, you might see them just being a little bit more aggressive here, just to speed up the pace. They're in a really terrible spot. Here comes the rush, though, with the Tech Nines. MSL able to finish it off with a helping hand of Cajun B. And that's going to be the 12 1, but that still doesn't mean that they can buy. They just have to, I mean, I assume they're just going to keep force buying. Will they save one and have a, a chance for a 13 2? <laughs> or they try to get the 12 3 with a four spot with a couple force buys? Looks like they're just going to go for the save. Actually, there's a, there is definitely an argument for force buying here from, you know, just the fact that you feel like you're not, never going to win the game from, from a 14 1. So why not try to make it 12-3, even if your chances to win are very low. But they are getting kind of walked over here by Dignitas. Can really see that this is the home territory for Dignitas. I like these angles that Cajun B is holding. Have you played much nuke yet? No, not too much. I used to have uh, FPS issues on it, although I have You've been purchasing I've, hardware now. I've upgraded a little bit, so so it might be it might be better now. 13 to 1. Last chance saloon for Trick to double their score in the first half. Double ops once again onto the CC side. Five AKs and a bunch of grenades. Just the one Molotov onto Easter Tag.
fast play from many of the people outside. Is, could this be an A split? They could be moving towards main, perhaps. Indeed, they're going against the grain of their grenades. And Cosmic is going to get taken down in isolation. Where's Maeve going to go? We've got players rotating towards B. So it could be sort of a fake there. You can go for a peek into a pre predictable angle. And MSL will take him down. Rubino putting in work as well. Four versus three at the moment. And KGB once again in heaven. Just delivering. Hunter, one versus two. Trying to go for a flash. Rubino fake this. Where is Magic's boy? Coming in from the back. And that's going to be that 14 to 1. It could be a fast first map, but first we'll have to see how the pistol goes. Yeah, one thing that's really scary here is that <clears throat> you would expect, again, because it's a domestic matchup, that one of the qualities of those is that, okay, sure, you, know, can, you can have a team that's a lot better, maybe individually, but just due to that very situational, very specific player knowledge that the players of both teams will have about one another, it kind of less it kind of lessens the margins a little bit on skill because you kind of you're familiar with the kind of plays this guy's gonna make from this position or the tendencies of the team overall. A little bit a little bit better. Uh, you'll understand their patterns than maybe a lot of other teams. But we're just seeing it right now trick get completely crushed and this does not bode well for the rest of the series, I have to say, but it is early days, so we'll have to see if there is recovery. But this is uh, this could be over very quickly if Dignitas are able to have a successful pistol round here on the, the T side of a nuke. And uh, as a reminder, Cobble is the next map, and it is Trick's pick. And it is a map that typically Dignitas have been very good on too. Right then, let's see what pi the pistol uh, strat Dignitas have in store. Oh, Cajun B going for the 180 drop to split the A site. Going to get absolutely wrecked. Nico's in trouble now, needed teammates to come in. That's a very nice headshot. Oh, look at that, Nico, 3 HP and a 2K on the site. That is massive from him. Conflict last man standing versus four. And it seems Tricked may not be at the house of this one just yet. Nico with a nuclear performance on the A site, no pun intended. Yeah, well, they're gonna be giving themselves a bit of a shot here. It's always gonna be possible. On Nuke, that said, I still feel like we have not had nearly enough data on Nuke. I think there's still a lot to be to be explored. So it's not like the old days where we, you know, in 1.6 where the 14-1 was like, well, that's that's kind of normal. Same with like the 1.6 train, that's where you know you you feel like you're in the game still at that point. Uh, anyway, we got the uh, the play outside here, just almost a full eco, just deagles really, you know, just one player buying Kevlar in Magic's Boy. So just looking for a little bit of pressure and damage. There's a little bit of damage, Cage and B. It's going to train his Terminator aim on to Hunden's face. And Rubino might get a double peek here with KGB. With his elevated position. In fact, he's been discovered at this point. And uh, Dignitas are slowly trying to work their way onto at least one more kill, which would definitely be a good outcome for them in this round, which would make them very happy indeed. Ooh, they, Nico's not watching. They must know he's there. They saw him on the catwalk. They've got to know that he's there. Oh. Oh! <laughs> no way! Rubino just made this very interesting. He has a minute on the clock, and he's picked up a weapon. Although he might pre he may prefer to deagle for his pre-fire angles. And now there are so many places. Oh, Nico, he's behind the box. Rubino, is he going to go around? Oh, dear me. Hello, and goodbye. Now we've got a bomb plant. Rubino has three kills so far, all one deegs. He has no idea where Easy Tag is. Coming up top, Rubino's got no armor. Can he get around the corner in time? It looks like he can. And uh, now Easy Tag's going to have a task ahead of him. Can he find the correct angle? It's a gamble. Rubino hears the drop. Now he can play around the window. Ooh. Oh, no! He was so close to the head! He was so close, Dad! Ah, oh, man. <laughs> it's actually really funny because when he was uh, at the T event, you can see the um, fire extinguisher, right? And I think I've been, I've been playing a little bit too much Deus Ex. I'm like, you could shoot, you could shoot the fire extinguisher and just distract his opponent with the noise cue. Why are you spoiling Deus Ex for me? I can't believe you've done this. Might as well get a refund now. Yeah. 14 to three. The auto shotgun on to Mave. Always nice to see. Love me some shotguns. Galil's <laughs> UMP is coming out for Dignitas and a number of grenades. So let's see what they have to offer Tricked with such a buy. And it looks like it's going to be a fast play into the bomb site, but they're ready with the Molotovs. Only one kill, it's not even from the shotgun. Yeah, Dignitas actually in on this uh, wrap room now. 
Although it is a tough entry. S tag looking to get damage in. No frags though, but config is down to 10. And Dignitas without a bomb plant. It's going to feel pretty awful, but it looks like they're going to be good for it. Actually, the rotation is very conservative here from Trix, despite losing ramps so so quickly and, and being on four players. They don't really have anybody able to pressure onto this area just yet. We've got Istag there, who is going to be supported only briefly by Hunted. And the double peak comes in. Very nicely done there. Good adjustment. Oh, MSI. I love this. Over the door. Oh, that's not very good cover, though. You can get shot straight through that. Bit awkward here, but MSL looks to finish it off with a Glock. Pulled straight out. And uh, there is a switch as well, but the defuse is coming in. MSL realizes he can't get it done, falls back. Good damage done in the bomb plant. Probably means that Dignitas will force buy it up in this round. Yeah, they're in an interesting situation. They have, they have 10 rounds to play with. Yeah. And they will keep up some level of pressure, but they're going to go for the half buy. I respect that, because at the same time, with force buys, you're kind of looking at the long term. And right now, they need two rounds, so it doesn't really matter too much. They, so you just want to have the two rounds where you get the most impact. So maximize those amounts about buy rounds that you can get out. And so this is going to allow them to do that. So I like this a lot. I like it. So we've got Dignitas slowly moving towards T-Red. No smokes, though. Just one onto MSL. And he's going to get taken down. A distant thing. Rubino spotted as well. Looking for some more headshots. Hunden's got to be careful. Oh. <laughs> oh! There we go. One too many times. You can't go to Rubino's well. Because he will throw you in it. What else can Dignitas do though? Well, Yuki's gone down. Now they have a man advantage. All Convicts picks up an M4. Bear in mind, half of the, of the remaining Dignitas players have armor as well. So there is work to be done here for the Dignitas side and tricked running out of personnel to cover everything with. There is a T on the high ground around heaven. Oh no, Rubin, Rubino's got himself into this position completely unaware. It's the second time he gets this and he knows there's a player below and Config is going to take down his tag. He was too worried about, about heaven as well as the yard. There's too many places to look. And now it's just maybe he's got, he's got a shotgun. He's got a shotgun. Can he find something better? Nope, not so far. This is grim indeed. Dignitas styling on Tricked. Even in rounds when they don't really have almost any equipment, Rubino, I called him out just a little bit for kind of fluffing his spray on a previous round. <coughs> He's come back with one Deeks for days. And that is going to be probably enough to take Dignitas nope. to 15, as Maeve is, is done on this round. Poke your head, instant headshot. The NOPE, Dan. The NOPE coming in. I'm going to get out of here. Maybe definitely holding on. And he will be put out of his misery. 15 to 4 in favor of Dignitas. What does the CT money look like? Well, that's what it looks like, Dan. Doesn't look like much because there isn't much of it to look like anything at all. Yeah, it looks pretty appalling. Two of the five players in double figures there for tricks. Clearly not enough to stop the existing situation. Dignitas at full power, full strength, full utility. Going to be charging for Trick to have one rifle and four pistols. Nico on a defuse kit. Yugi looking to get his Rubino on with that Deagle perhaps. Not sure I fancy his chances though. Got the pressure on the yard from Dignitas as they look for those Lurking tricked players. Out comes the eagle here for Yugi. Really desperately trying to connect one of these. There's one connection. Finally gets the finishing blows there. Took three bullets though. But Config is down and the pressure is very close at this point. Dignitas creeping closer and closer. Circling all the remaining CTs until now there's just two left and the bomb can go down freely on the upper side. So it looks like Dignitas have done it. It's just Hunden left now against three. Do you believe James? No. Right then. Hunden, James is not a believer. He's going for the one versus three from main. He doesn't have a defuse kit. He's got an AK. <laughs> and now he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. That he was an uh, awkward situation. Well, it's a shutout from Dignitas in the first map. I don't know if there's much to to say about that. Oh, clearly, it wasn't tricked map. It was a pick of Dignitas, and it was uh, solidly and strongly won by them.
Not much more to add. There was it wasn't really much of a showing indeed. However, we will move on to the choice of tricks, which is going to be cobblestone. But it is typically very well known to be a great map for Dignitas in the past. If been a little bit shakier on it in, in the last month since the uh, the change uh, and since Kiabi uh, left the lineup, but we can expect good things from them there. So let's find out after the break.